you ready to go? FM. Uh, you take a nice look at that noggin. By the way, people want to know they're on real TV. We uh, call him Great Gazoo because of the size of his gargantuan head. People are bitching that you don't wear enough green. <laughs> And, dum dum. Yeah, and you're supposed to greet us with hello, dum dums. Hello, dum dums. Uh, <laughs> <That's> so <laughs> <okay>. creepy. <laughs> yeah. All right. People are saying they they got kicked out of the real TV chat for a phrase, which you can't say on the radio. Lol. Uh, that's why there's the unfiltered chat on mm -hmm. All right. So it's political season. You know, it's uh, 2006. You got midterm elections. Of course, the big race here. In Florida is for governor, and the great Gazoo Manning. I don't want you to set up the bit. We'll just play it. The great Gazoo Manning had an idea, mm -hmm. uh, you know, because he figured, hey, it's timely. It's <laughs> yes, it's election time. Mm -hmm. All right, so uh, here we go. Here's the great Gazoo Manning's first bit. Have him, I'm giving you one chance to back out. Please. Well, I mean, I want to see you. The kid has not answered phone calls for two hours because he's been working on this masterpiece. Mm -hmm. So let's hear it. Play it. Would you like a different kind of candidate in 2006? We'll vote for Terry Shibo for governor. <laughs> oh, well, I thought that old tard was dead. Well, well you, you were wrong. wrong. Terry Shibo is what Floridians need for the next four years. So where Very does tough. Terry stand on certain issues? I don't know, but I'd like to find out. Well, let's ask her. How do you feel about gay adoption? Mm -hmm. Health insurance. Mm -hmm. Where are you going, man? Gays being able to marry. Mm -hmm. no. Education. Hmm. Would you have any more comments you would like to add? Hmm. Now it's clear to see why Terry Schiavo is right for Florida in 2006. Paid political advertisement by Terry Schiavo. Why is there just music playing? <laughs> um, <laughs> Alright, so High Not Roll Radio 104.1. I'd like to say that's not uh, in any way endorsed by FN Dubs. Mm -mm. People are tuning to Jack FM now. He's, he's topical. That is... See, that's the thing. <laughs> 16 months ago. <laughs> <laughs> You're right. This is perfect for 2005 April. Mm -hmm. Really, uh, March. You grab a DeLorean? <laughs> <laughs> I, I just thought it would be good, you know, to give me some experience. It wasn't. But it wasn't good. I thought it was good. Are you working at John oh. Bonet for mayor of Colorado? <laughs> <laughs> Mems in the three two one likes Gazoo. Hey, Dub, what's going on, buddy? What's up? Hey, how you doing? You still got that Mexican there with you? I'm right here. Hey, hey, how you doing, Chunk? Texas. All right. Oh, what do you no, want, no. Mems? <laughs> I'm sorry. I was gonna say that great Gazoo did a great job. Really, he he tried hard. Uh, he tried hard, but he he didn't seem to look through today's newspaper. He decided to pick something from fourteen, fifteen, sixteen months ago. And that's He's part of the problem. Head, though. Well, that doesn't help. That doesn't say anything. <laughs> sure it does. All right, Mims, thank you. You're All driving right. me crazy. I love you, too. All right. What the hell? Bye, buddy. <laughs> You're so high tonight, <laughs> Mims. Uh, <laughs> is this Any Captain Spaulding? Uh, All right. <laughs> LOL. So, are we going to get a nice Elian Gonzalez for Senator bit yeah. next week? Is that what we're looking at? Scott Peterson. I'm yeah, I, I want to do, uh, <laughs> come on. I want to do, <laughs> hook a brother up. Uh, go away. So Mims, I love me. you too. Mims, dude, you're fantastic. We hang up. All right, love you. Bye. Bye. See ya. He's fantastic as I'm fantastic. No, you're oh. awful. Oh, That's what that was. And I'd like to give you this label. Chuck Jock. Because that had no redeeming value. Well, at least Unlike the like, previous segment we did. At least it wasn't like Radio Jihad or some crazy thing like that. Radio Jihad. Jihad. <laughs> Goddamn donkey. I'm sorry. I'm still going through puberty. I kind of crack my voice. So what, what was it that made you think, hey, this would be funny, a Terry Shivo for governor? Well, you know, I was uh, laying down in my bed last night, and I just thought of it, and I just started laughing hysterically, and I was just like, man, that's going to be a great bit. So I you know, just want to come in here today. I recorded it, and I thought it was going to be excellent. And So you, you, it came to you in your sleep? Yeah, dead. Now, I was listening to Ryan and Fez today, and uh, this reminded me of something that happened to me, too. I don't 
go with any bits that I think of when I'm sleeping <laughs> because they end up being the worst ones. And Ron was talking about. I it heard and that. He, and he's he he, uh, he sticks to the story that he had a, a, a funny idea and he was laughing his ass off in the middle of uh, the night. So he wrote it down and when he woke up and looked at it, all it said is squirrels wearing pants. <laughs> and in the middle of the night, he thought that was hilarious. <laughs> But I, heard, I out, heard a different one. It was Fez with uh, yeah, a, a that, mommy part in his forehead, mm -hmm. which was also funny, too. Um, but uh, that happened to me before, too. I used to keep a pen and paper right next to my uh, my bed, and I would write stuff down, and it never made sense when I woke well, up. Well, Seinfeld had a whole episode on that. Oh, did it? You never watched where mm -hmm. Jerry, he woke up in the middle of the night laughing with a joke. He wrote it down. Right. Uh, he, could, he wrote it so poorly, he's trying to figure out the whole episode what it was that he wrote down because he wanted to use it for a set then he finally figured it out and he's like that's not funny what the hell <laughs> and that was it that was the uh that was the brilliance of that episode uh not brilliant though that bit so are we looking forward in 2008 a nice steve Irwin bit is that what we're gonna get two years from now no i have no i i gotta think of something it is, that'll that'll just make people like laugh like crazy, and that wasn't and, it. And women will be having premature babies everywhere, oh, and it's just crazy up. stuff like that. Like I want something really good. You're absolutely not uh, Two about? words, John Ritter. Give that a shot. Yeah. How about that? We'll just roll with that angle. Oh my God. Susan Smith for transportation office. Number. Yeah. Department of Transportation. <laughs> Did you choose that haircut when you were sleeping too? <laughs> No, I'm trying to find the haircut that actually oh, fits my up, head Oh, shut up, please, the best. seriously. What about the Lindbergh baby? Take that thing down. <laughs> <laughs> no, baby stop. Jessica, just just walking in fields for no reason. What are you doing? And it's not enough that that poor woman didn't suffer uh, for so long. you got to sit here and got to make a radio bit out of her. You guys are picking too much on Senator Gazoo here. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Jesus, man. <laughs> Until the hun, maybe? Yeah, he was dead for a while. <laughs> Died on a blood clot in his throat. How about that? All right. <laughs> <Your pantry. laughs> All right, people are telling me. I'm, I'm really upset, though. Bipolar oh. Steve says he can't wait for his OJ bit. <laughs> yeah, that's what uh, anti Matt in the uh, 407 is. Who is this stranger? Yeah, hey, what up, man? <laughs> well, I was going to say, I can't wait for the Gensu Knife nice bit. Why don't you go work for Garabo, jackass? <laughs> uh, <laughs> Why don't you shut your mouth, you idiot? <laughs> oh! Oh! Yeah! oh, big boy! <laughs> Shock I didn't recover from that one. <laughs> and I'm also upset that Matt decided to leave the studio while my bit was playing. You guys kept your headphones on, kept your mics in front of you, but Matt, he just threw them down and uh, he just walked I out. I wish I would have. I honestly do. I, I was hoping that it would turn around at some point. I'd rather go you bang a current girl in front of me. <laughs> um, play that bit again. Uh, Giant Brian says... Did you like a different kind of candidate right. in 2006? No, no. no stop that. it. That's a one and done bit. <laughs> uh, Giant Brian says, tell the intern something might have happened to a girl named Anne Frank. Maybe her for all. <laughs> Look at all you anti-Semites laughing. Jesus. A little guy named Hitler might want to look into him. Uh, oh, boy. So there was your genius, huh? That's what you spent two hours on today. I Four hours. Thanks, by the way. Well, I mean, if you want to give him a grade for... Technical ability, I guess it was better than what the previous interns have done. That is true. Except for Manhole or Putin. But uh, as far as like comedy goes, it wasn't quite there. Now, Dubs, <laughs> did you want to say <laughs> why he did it? Yeah. Well, when he came up to me in the elevator and told me about the bit, I'm like, wow, that's, that's ingenious. <laughs> Dude, you got to go do that. <laughs> he did. He, he made me feel like I was the greatest thing on earth. Yeah. He really did. Dude, Dad, he's got a really funny joke there. Tell me what you told Tommy and I. Oh, I got a really good joke for okay. you. Okay. Okay. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Hold on. Hold on. What's up? Go ahead. Brace himself. I have mind that you have two very successful comedians in the room. Oh, great. Time. I can learn stuff. Okay. <laughs> well, anyways. <laughs> If I go up to a girl and she's flat chested, I just say to her, hey, I like girls as they were when they were 10 years old. <gasps> oh, God. Oh, the punchline. I missed that. Yeah. <laughs> Pedro's is going to be shit. Shock. <laughs> that, that's a size 16, everybody. Stand back. <laughs> What's up with the Nemo Phillips delivery? Why is, why is all the flailing of the arms? I don't know. What was that? I don't even know. My aunt don't has you get it? That joke was this kid. That joke was Daryl and Laura Tennyson. Um, <laughs> why? Why? Uh, yeah. Oh. Oh. What's the problem, Chunks? 
What's going on, Sean? Four zero seven nine one six one zero four one triple eight nine seven. You have more material? I don't have any more material, but I do have this to say. Can you guys hook me up with a really hot looking woman? No. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm done. Here's, here's I'm done. Hold on. Here's the thing. Here's the thing, which is interesting, and I'm so glad we have real TV on RealRadio.fm. He does this thing when he talks. Mm -hmm. He the put. Well, oh, hold on. He puts his hands together in like a praying motion and goes side to side like this, <laughs> like he's a genie, <laughs> like he's a genie. <laughs> You great gazoo man. All right, from now on, Un Genie, Genie in a Bottle is his theme music. <laughs> funny bastard. That's a hot song. Christ almighty. Mm. Wow, we have a loaded board here. We have to go to uh, Boggs Wayne Gacy. Still, Bike Here's BJ's on hold for some reason. Oh, he wanted to talk a little...